everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today I have an exciting review from a uh, Hit the Bottle and it is called Keep It Peel Peel Off Base Coat and I was really excited to get this for review. I was doing a group buy in the stamping shop and I didn't do a Hit the Bottle group buy but I was doing a Lena Plate group buy and um, the Hit the Bottle people with their order. I have a ton of Hit the Bottle. I love Hit the Bottle. Um, but I have a ton of it. <laughs> so I didn't really need to do a group buy then. Um, I'll probably do one in the future. But anyways, um, so with the um, group buy orders that she gotten from Hit the Bottle, they reached out to her and asked if um, she could give these to people who would thought that she would do, would do a video, a YouTube review on it. And I love it and um, thank you Dawn for thinking of me it was really really sweet and I'm really excited to get this and I completely love it um, so let me show you let me show you what I mean let's just get into it and I'll show you how great it is let's get started okay so first reason why I use peel off base coats is um, if I'm doing swatches and I want the polish to come off really quick or if I'm working ahead on some um, video, sometimes I will work, I'll do a bunch of videos all at once in a weekend. And I usually, you know, don't wear any of those manis. I just do one after the other. And uh, that way, when I do put a mani on at the end of all my filming, I can wear it longer because I've already done my videos for the week. And I don't have to worry about that with work and everything. So we are going to do a swatch and just pretend swatch, I guess, <laughs> and um, we'll try this out. So typically what I do when I'm doing swatches or I want to get the mani off really fast is I will um, put oil on my nails and then lotion and that way the um, peel off usually slides right off really easy and I don't have to fight with it or anything like that. Okay, so my nails have been all prepped um, just for swatches or easy removal. And so I'm just going to apply this to my fingers and then wait till it completely dries. And cap the edges really good so I can get it off pretty easily. Okay, so I'm just going to go wait for that to dry and then I can put the color on top. Okay, so the Hit the Bottle base coat, peel base coat, is dry and it, it actually fills in the ridges um, on my natural nail pretty good, so that's that's a plus. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using purple pepper. So right now, for this um, the swatch part, the easy removal, I am going to use the lacquer. So I'm just going to apply this like I normally would if I was doing a, um, a swatch video. And I'm going to add two coats and then a quick dry top coat. And the quick dry top coat I'll be using is Out the Door, I-N-M, Out the Door. Okay, so the um, two coats of polish and the quick dry top coat has already been dried. So now we're going to peel it off. And what I have is, um, actually this is a Sally Hansen, it's a gel removal tool. It helps you kind of push off old gel polish after you're done soaking in an acetone. So I'm just going to use this to push off the, the polish or the base coat, well whatever, all of it. And it comes off really nice and easy. So I do like this for swatching. Everything's coming off good. Perfect. Great. 
Okay, so I skipped the application step. So all I have on right now is the um, hit the bottle base coat, the peel base coat, and then I have Wave Gel's Purple Pepper and the Wave Gel Shiny No Clean Top Coat. So that's all that I have, um, which would pretty much be all that I would normally have. Actually, usually I put the um, the gel base coat on underneath because it usually smooths out my my nails better um, for gel swatches. But look at this. <laughs> this is nice. So that's good. So I can skip a step in there. And um, well, these have been cured. Um, there's two coats of color and then the top coat. So let's see how it removes. So I got my little lifting tool here. <laughs> it doesn't want to come up. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. There we go. Um, there's no damage to the nail at all. This is awesome. Comes up pretty easy, which is good. This time all I have on my um, hands is some lotion before I did this. So it is sticking a little bit better. Now, I have tried a couple of times to see, um, you know, to see hopefully that it'll last a couple of days. I'm not having any good luck, but that is not, that's probably not because of the, the base coat here. It's probably not because of this. It's probably because my nails are super short and I can't get the polish, I can't get the tips wrapped very well or anything. So I'm going to keep at it. I'm going to obviously have posted this much of the video. I think it's a, I really like it. I just, I love the fact that it's smooth as, I mean, look at my ridges. <laughs> it smoothed those out. It smoothed out the ridges really good. So I, I, you know, this is something that I would buy and keep using. So actually I'm going to keep using it. Um, but when I'm out, I definitely will buy it. So stay tuned. As soon as my nails, probably maybe like a few weeks, maybe like two weeks or so, maybe I'll be able to um, test this long term. But um, I don't know if you guys, if you can get on to work, you could probably get this to work because this is, this is really good. I've used it quite a bit and there are times where, um, you know, my nails, you know, I didn't have lotion on or whatever, and it has stuck really good. I'm like, oh my gosh, I wonder how many days I could have gotten away with it, um, but I needed to take it off. So um, anyways, but stay tuned for that video. I love this stuff, and I did find out where you can purchase it, and I'll put that in the description box below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.